conditions around the rest of the world here in England in, in April, May are very, very different. How difficult is it to make that adjustment? Oh yeah, it's, it's always difficult, you know, uh, pitches, grounds are soft and pitches, uh, pitches are soft as well. Early season, so it's difficult for the boys, you know, coming from Pakistan and uh, getting adjusted to the weather. Uh, it was five degrees and uh, I think four was yesterday, so it's quite cold for them and uh, it's, it's not easy. Uh, I, I'll, I'm living here and playing here and I always get, you know, cold here when we play. But uh, boys, uh, they've done a hard yard, but hopefully, we, you know, we come up, come up top. And we saw one that explosive delivery from Mohamed Amir getting rid of Alex Blake today I mean you expect that from him in the, in the test series I suppose well, definitely he's one of the best bowlers we have uh, around us and uh, with Hassan Ali and all, all the guys uh, uh, they perform really well for us in the last uh, year or so and we expect uh, these things from Mohamed a bit more and to the chat up when he's changed ends he seems to be getting quite a lot of Grip and purchase from uh, Canterbury. Yeah, he's, he's young. He, that's his eighth first class game. Uh, he has the potential. We know in one day cricket and T20 cricket, but he's getting him to bowl more over in test match cricket and four day cricket. So it's really important for him. Uh, I'm quite happy with his uh, performance today. He went for a bit, bit more runs, but uh, that's uh, not the case. But uh, he bowled a good spell for us today. And I have to ask about you coming back to Kent. Obviously, uh, we've enjoyed your performances over many years here. What's it like to be back? Oh, it's, it's great to be back at Canterbury. You know, like uh, it's my third home. First home is Pakistan. Second is Surrey, and Kent is my third home. So I always, you know, love playing here. And you know, the uh, club is great. And every time you come here, you know, the hospitality and the, the love we got here is amazing. It's changed a bit since you were last year, I suppose. Even since when you were you were playing. Yeah, it's, it's been changed. You know, I can see you can, we can get coffee here now. <laughs> <laughs> a bit more latte and <laughs> mocha and uh, you can see the flags, you know, beautiful flags here. So it's, it's totally a different looking ground now, but uh, it's always great to be here. But of course, it's, it, you're coming back here on business and, and serious business with Pakistan as well ahead of the Test Series. Oh yeah, definitely, you know, uh, that's our goal to uh, win the Test Series here uh, in England and uh, uh, we work hard. We got a young side, a lot of guys uh, having the first time in England, so it's a different condition for them. But it's a great opportunity after uh, after uh, Yunus and Misba leaving the cricket and there's the opportunity to grab for these young guys to play for Pakistan for the next 10 to 15 years. What's the comparison like between coaching and playing? Do you sometimes think, I need to be out there on the field, it should be me? And no, I think, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's tough, you know, sometimes you want to play, but uh, now I think I, I had uh, my time and uh, now this is the time for these young guys to be, be a hero for Pakistan and, you know, to play cricket for Pakistan. So, yeah, sometimes you feel, you know, <laughs> I should be bowling down downhill, you know. I feel so. Yeah, it's it's always the case, you know. I'm still running in and bowling in the nets, so yeah, it's good fun. Julian, yeah. Sorry, can I just ask? You talked about young. It's time for the young guys to make their mark. We saw Imam Al Haq make a very good 50 in conditions, which I can't imagine he's batted in very often. Did you make his performance? Oh, I think he played really well and he worked really hard uh, with Grant Flower when everyone was playing PSL and. Uh, so he worked really hard uh, on his batting, his, his fitness, and you can see uh, it's, it's been paid off here today. And uh, he's getting into good position, so he's moving, uh, uh, playing well on the front foot and the back foot as well. So that's the hard yard he put in for the last two months, and uh, you can see in his batting. And uh, he looks like you know he's been uh, here for a long time. And apart from the other guys, you know they struggle a bit, so they haven't used the condition well. But this guy. They played well for us. And can I just ask as well, I mean, Pakistan have been to England, you know, recently, both for a test series, obviously with the Champions Trophy, and that's white ball cricket, but they've had some success in English conditions. They've drawn test series, performed really well. People like Amir and you know, Hassan Ali bowl well in England. That must give you some confidence going in. Oh, yes, we're very confident, you know. Uh, I know we're uh, coming here at underdogs, you know, play England playing at home, but uh, we always uh, are coming to England. So, but but uh, uh, we got a young player who had potential to become a very good player and uh, they performed during the Champions Trophy uh, like so Hassan Ali, Shaddaab and uh, Amir and uh, young players you know like Fakhar, Fakhar played really well in, uh, during the Champions Trophy mm -hmm. so these guys had a potential if they, we played to our potential if we, we managed to uh, get things right so we can give a tough time to England. 
And how is sort of Mohammed Amir sort of adjusting to sort of being the leader of the attack now? Uh, yeah, he's uh, he, he. To be honest, you know, we want him, uh, uh, more from Amir. To be honest, as, as bowling coach, I want more from Amir because uh, his. If you see his record, is not that great since he come back. But unfortunately, after five years, he come back. But he played every single game. But he needs to. Uh, he, he needs to take a bit more responsibility. He, does, he needs to run in and get the wicket for us. That's what I want from him, and that's what the team needs needed from him. If he if he's the leader of the uh, this attack, so he needs to show us a bit more. And uh, he got a potential. I, I, I'm sure he will do that, and uh, that's what we want from him. Just a couple of quick ones from me. Who who impressed you from the uh, against the, the, the last two games? I uh, know they, they bowl really well. They uh, they bowled us for under two two hundred runs. So they, they they know the condition well. They they use the condition really well, and they bowled consistent line and length. And uh, for our batsmen, it was tough. You know, ball was moving around, seeming around, and it was slow pitch. And they bowled really well. And uh, definitely, uh, Joe Denley played really well. Uh, I know how good a player he is, and he was with us in Karachi Kings as well. So, and uh, uh, both both the guys played really well. And, uh, they, Uh, no, we were, the other day we were talking about uh, uh, 90, 97, 98 tour. So he mentioned you were 300 against us. Uh, uh, very nice of him, but uh, you know he was a quality bowler and uh, he's uh, uh, always tough to face him uh, whenever he played Test cricket and he's a competitor. You can see him even even. Uh, I wish him best of luck for for the, for the Kent, you know, he's my club and he's uh, doing the assistant coach role here, so I wish him best of luck. And he's he's, he's a great a great player and uh, was a great bowler. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you.